car. This is a 2019 10-speed 5L. It came from a 3 valve, if you guys don't know. Um, you guys can click on my YouTube channel, and I uploaded a couple videos on that car, but this thing does not compare with a 3 valve. Nothing crazy. Base model. You know, I got the calculator screen. Other than that, I mean, it's pretty much stock besides a 93 tune and a Canon filter. Um, the only other thing I did was the spoiler tint, tint on the headlight, um, new aftermarket wheel. These are I got from my uncle. They actually match the front kind of well, so I just put them on. I basically just painted the rims black, and it kind of matches it. Fitment is on point in the rear, you know, it's a 18 by 10. Front, <laughs> it looks hideous, but, you know, we're trying to save up for the modifications over the winter. But other than that, everything else is stock. Besides this, don't mind the single tips. I'm getting axle backs, quad tip axle backs. Um, it was just something, you know, for now. Other than that, it's pretty much stock. Let's pop the hood for you guys. Alright guys, so here's the engine. As you guys can see, it's stocker than ever. Literally, all it has is a Canon filter, and that's pretty much it. I obviously took off the sound tube. I don't need that. Took off the heat shield, and that's basically it. All it has is a resonator and muffler delete. Doesn't have an H pipe or X pipe. It's just straight. Interior. Literally, as I said, it's just a base model. Nothing crazy. The horse right there. 10 speed. We're gonna start it up. It's here from the outside. As you guys know about the 5.0 engine take, I actually had it for like a thousand miles, but then it just went away. I don't know what to think about it either. I know it's normal for these engines. I just left it alone. I didn't care, and it's gone now. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> it had the engine take for a little bit, but it went away. So it seemed like your grandpa had it before I had it. So that's good. Uh, when I bought it, it had 20. No, I had 17,000 miles, and I have put 5,000 miles. I think already. It's my daily driver, so. You know, miles are gonna be higher, but I bought this thing for a reason, right? I bought it to beat on it, to race it, and uh, you know, gap some Camaros. mode This thing is just fun. Oh! Oh, crap. Oh, damn! Damn! Yeah. We gotta start her up right now. But let's do it. Alright guys, so you know, make sure you got your radar on and make sure you got your ways open up. And uh, we should be 99% good. So uh, let's go to some forest and uh, talk about how the car, you know, feels. And all. Talk about how the car feels and how I feel about it after having it for two months. I had it for two months. So uh, let's go do that. Alright guys, so we went to the forest and there were just way too many people there. I didn't really want to record in front of everyone. I want to end the video with just talking about the plans for this car in 2023. Because obviously, as you guys know, it's stock. Let's talk about exterior mods and the front will go front to back. We're going to get the Cervini grill or the RTR light girl you know, we're gonna get the rtr splitter in the front we're gonna get the matching wheels for the front because those are aftermarket fill in the gap uh because you know the fitment is just horrible on these stock 235s um so yeah we're gonna definitely do that we're gonna drop it with some ibachi sport line springs we're gonna get some blacked out badges for the 5.0 
And then hopefully some side skirts. Probably gonna get Gertie Flip with the GT500 spoiler. And then a carbon fiber or all gloss black deck lid. Finally, the CNL axle back tip. It looks like an eco boost right now, but we're gonna get those CNLs and it's gonna look nice. Other than that, I really can't complain about the car. It is just quick. It is a very quick car. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys want more, you know, Mustang videos or you wanna give me ideas on what to do with the car, go ahead. Make sure you comment those ideas. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully we can get some POV soon. So I'll see you guys.